Recently, BYD, a Chinese EV manufacturer, surged to become the world's leading EV producer. This shift has prompted concerns about the erosion of Western dominance in the car industry. In response, European nations are investigating Chinese EVs for potential bans and imposing significant tariffs. The Biden administration is also taking steps to counter China's EV growth. The question remains, can the West triumph in the EV competition, or will China's dominance persist in this evolving landscape? Stick around for the answer. To strengthen the American electric vehicle manufacturing sector and reduce the influx of Chinese-made EVs, the Biden administration is considering a significant increase in import tariffs, as reported by The Wall Street Journal. This aligns with the administration's broader agenda of enhancing the domestic automotive industry's resilience and reducing dependency on foreign vehicles, notably from China. This potential tariff hike isn't without precedent. A similar increase occurred in 2018 during the tenure of former President Donald Trump, raising the rate from 2.5% to 27.5%. Additionally, the current administration has taken a more assertive stance by disqualifying foreign-made EVs from receiving tax incentives in the United States. This move signals their commitment to promoting domestic manufacturing. In a bid to further reduce reliance on Chinese supply chains and bolster domestic production capabilities, President Joe Biden has implemented regulations preventing U.S. car manufacturers from accessing specific incentives if their EVs incorporate Chinese-sourced components or materials. This policy underscores the administration's goal of decoupling the American EV industry from Chinese dependencies, ensuring that the future of electric vehicles is made in America as articulated by John Podesta, a senior advisor to President Biden on clean energy innovation. Amid a substantial surge in Chinese vehicle exports, particularly targeting European markets, there are predictions of a 25% increase in Chinese vehicle exports by 2024. This surge poses a significant challenge for European car manufacturers. President Ursula von der Leyen's leadership at the European Commission has led to raised concerns regarding the impact of these imports. The focus is on the market distortion caused by Chinese state subsidies, which artificially lower EV prices. In the United States, Chinese electric cars are strongly perceived as a competitive threat, primarily due to the considerable price gap between American and Chinese EVs. This price difference is largely attributed to China's dominant position in the global EV supply chain, supported by approximately $130 billion in state subsidies since 2016. In response to these developments, a bipartisan group of U.S. lawmakers in November urged the Biden administration to consider increasing tariffs on Chinese automobile imports. Their letter to the Office of the United States Trade Representative emphasized the necessity of such measures to counter the expected influx of Chinese EV imports, which they argue could have detrimental effects on the American automotive industry and its workforce. Furthermore, these lawmakers have also called for an investigation into the potential harm that Chinese vehicles could inflict on the U.S. auto sector. They are seeking strategies to prevent China from circumventing these tariffs by importing vehicles via Mexico. It's worth noting that three major Chinese EV companies are currently planning to establish new factories in Mexico with a focus on the American market. President Biden has weighed in on China's manufacturing capabilities, highlighting China has a larger manufacturing scale than all other countries, and they are leveraging this scale to produce not only batteries in China, but also in Germany, Lanco, and Mexico. They are now exporting these electric vehicles worldwide, with a specific eye on the American market. The complex geopolitical and economic landscape presents a significant challenge for the Biden administration as it navigates the intersection of international trade, domestic manufacturing, and the rapidly growing global EV market. The decisions made by the administration in the coming months will not only shape the U.S. automotive industry, but could also have a substantial impact on global trade dynamics and the future of clean energy transportation. The Biden administration's strategy for managing the influx of Chinese-made electric vehicles aligns with a broader plan to strengthen domestic industries and navigate the complexities of international trade. It goes beyond merely adjusting import tariffs. It signifies a strategic shift towards enhancing the United States' self-reliance in critical industrial sectors, particularly the rapidly evolving electric vehicle market.
The decision to raise tariffs on Chinese-made EVs is just one element of a comprehensive approach aimed at revitalizing the American automotive industry. This strategy involves promoting domestic production, reducing reliance on foreign supply chains, and fostering innovation within the United States. The ultimate goal is to establish a resilient and self-sustaining industrial base that can effectively compete on the global stage. An essential component of this policy is the emphasis on supply chain management. The global EV market heavily depends on specific raw materials like lithium and cobalt, crucial for battery production. China's dominance in these areas poses a significant challenge for the United States, which aims to lessen its dependence on Chinese imports of these vital components by promoting domestic mining and processing. The objective is to secure the supply chain and minimize vulnerabilities. Furthermore, the administration's stance reflects broader geopolitical considerations. The relationship between the United States and China has been characterized by a nuanced interplay of cooperation and competition. The shift in policy regarding Chinese-made EVs underscores a growing apprehension in Washington about China's technological advancements and its expanding influence in critical global industries. By implementing tariff increases and encouraging domestic production, the United States may be signaling a more assertive stance in this competitive landscape. In addition, the measures taken by the Biden administration align with its environmental objectives. By promoting the adoption of electric vehicles and supporting the domestic EV industry, the administration aims to curb carbon emissions and address climate change. Nevertheless, striking a balance that ensures this transition also supports American jobs and industries requires meticulous policy formulation. The decision to raise tariffs has ignited a debate among economists and industry experts. Some argue that tariffs could trigger retaliatory actions from China, potentially sparking a trade war with broader implications for the global economy. Others contend that this move is essential to shield American industries and workers from unfair competition driven by state-subsidized pricing in China. Reactions to the proposed tariff increase within the U.S. have been mixed. Some industry stakeholders support the administration's efforts to protect domestic manufacturing, while others worry about potential cost hikes for American consumers. The already significant barrier to widespread adoption of electric vehicles could be exacerbated by higher tariffs, potentially slowing the shift towards cleaner transportation options. Looking forward, the Biden administration confronts the challenge of navigating complex economic, environmental, and geopolitical dynamics. The decisions made in this arena will have extensive consequences, not just for the U.S. automotive industry, but also for the global transition to sustainable transportation. As the world increasingly turns to EVs to address environmental issues, the policies set by influential players like the U.S. will significantly shape the future of this vital industry. The Biden administration's contemplation of increasing tariffs on Chinese-made EVs is a strategic move aimed at strengthening the U.S. automotive sector and securing the nation's position in the global EV market. This policy reflects a broader initiative to revive American manufacturing, reduce reliance on foreign supply chains, and address climate change challenges. As this situation continues to evolve, it will continue to have substantial implications for international trade, economic policies, and the worldwide transition to sustainable transportation solutions. What are your thoughts on the potential impact of increased tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles? Do you believe it's a necessary step to protect domestic industries, or do you have concerns about its potential consequences for consumers and the EV market? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Remember, as we delve into the realm of technology, the possibilities are limitless, and the future is filled with exciting discoveries. Keep exploring.